okay? So trigger warning, okay? She's going to tell her part of some of the story, and he also is going to talk about his side. So Miss Little Truth is putting this on TikTok, love and affection matters. So basically, he's saying this is all he's wanted. This is what he asked for. This is something that he's not getting. And, you know, he's just not feeling it. But listen. I lived with him for six years. So I know him. I know him. So let me break it down what happened on October 14th. The day I'm going to always remember for the rest of my life. On October 14th, we was, I had just got home and I was on the phone with my niece. I just got in the house. I got off the phone. Here's my husband. Oh, so you're not going to give me no love and affection. You're not going to give me no love and affection. You're not going to give me no love and affection. And for my husband, because he lost his mom at five years old, he expect me to be this mother to him, his father to him, because his father won't sh his grandma, because his grandma wasn't giving him the love. He wanted me to give him all this love on top of being a mother to my children. Oh, I see the way you raise your kids, and I, I love the way you love on your kids. So I, the, I want that same love. I want that same attention. I want that same affection. I can't give you that. I can't give you all of that. I'm sorry that your mom passed away at five years old, but I cannot give you a mother's love. I cannot give you a mother's affection. A mother's love and a wife's love is two different things. Now, on October 14th, I'm, let me continue my story. He continued to go on about this love and affection. So I, I left the room doing my hair. He like, oh, so you want to get cute instead of sitting at the house. As you guys can see in the video, it's bags there because we just moved there. We just moved there. So I'm like, I'm not about to go ahead and pack, I'm finish packing stuff because it's so much stuff. This house is huge. I can wait. We can wait on that. It's it's not a dying thing. We can wait. So he like, oh, so you just gonna be lazy. So first you go from affection and attention to now I'm being lazy because I just dropped the kids off and I don't feel like I'm packing anything, right? Okay, cool. Notice, I walk out. I'm not a, I'm not the person that's gonna go back and forth with you. I do not like that. I like walking away and, and you just keep poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear, poking the bear. This is what he's doing before I started. So let me go. So we, I'm going into the room. I'm quiet. I'm watching Love and Marriage Huntsville, right? So Martel and Melody is on there. Shout out to Melody. Um, Martel is on there, and he come out the bathroom, and he like, yeah. He like, yeah, um, Martel, I see why you went outside. I'm going to have to go outside, too. I'm going to have to go outside, too. So I'm like, you had to go outside? What you mean you had to go outside? He like, yeah, I see why he did what he did. That's my boy, Martel. That's my boy. Okay. First of all, Martel never even addressed you or talked to you. And he like, oh, but Melody do. Melody be all in my DMs talking about stay, stay up, King. Stay, do, stay doing, stay healthy. Do what you need to do. I'm like, Melody be in your DM telling you that. So I grab his phone because his phone is on the bed. I grab his phone. I'm going through his Instagram messages. And there's some girl named Precious on there. So I'm like, who is Precious? Because they clearly met at the mall. And this is the mall that he loved going to all the time. So, I'm like, who was precious? He snatches the phone out of my hand. Now, at this moment, you guys, I'm like, why are you snatching the phone out of my hand? Out of four years, I've had his password. Y'all done seen me on live say, I go through my husband's phone. That ain't nothing that's a secret. Y'all know this. So, when you come outside of the room and you all gangster with it, like, yeah, I'm going to go outside with it. Oh, oh, I see why you did what you did. I'm going to have to go outside, too. Okay, now I'm like, let me get your phone so I can see what the, what, what, what are you talking about? Let me get your phone. So I grab his phone, and then I'm looking through messages. So that's when I said, who is precious? He snatches the phone from me. Now, I'm like, why are you snatching the phone from me? I grab his laptop next. I'm trying to enter the password, just trying to guess passwords. And he snatches the computer out of my hand. So he has two computers and two phones. So I'm like, okay, he put his phone in his pocket. Now I'm trying to get the... Um, phone out of his pants pocket. I'm trying to get the phone. We in a tussle. I'm trying to get the phone out of his pocket, right? Okay, so after that, we in like a WWE rap move. I don't even know what to call it, but we on the couch and he got me so tight. So I'm like pushing his head like this to get off of me. So I'm like, okay, cool. So he finally get up. I grab my pepper spray. And so I went over there and I grabbed the computer. So, okay. So I spray the pepper spray because now you're still trying to attack me. 
I'm spraying the pepper spray, not even on him. I'm spraying it on the pillow because now he's trying to swing pillows and hit me with the pillows and push me down on the couch. And I'm like, okay. So I grab this dead computer off the bed. I go to the closet. He picks up this big, oh, I don't know how long it is, but it's about wide as my car. It's big and long and it's gray. And he picks it up and he like, put my computer down now. So I put the computer down and I sit down. Indian style now with my legs crossed. I sit down, I say the computer is down. Next thing I know, he takes this big and put it on top of me. Boom, slams it right on top of my head with pressure. Boom. And so the first time he raised it back up, I'm trying to get up. I'm trying to get off of, off the floor, but I'm moving too slow because he's still hitting me. He hit me the second time and I did like this. This is why my hand got hit. So I did like this to protect my head. He hit me again. Boom. I'm screaming, calling for my dad at this point. Dad, help me, please. Dad, help me. Call 911. Please call. Dad, please come help me. So when I got up out of that closet, I went and I grabbed my phone. I called now. I just don't know how we experience two different things when it's reality or what's happening. No. What you don't understand is when you said that talk, you did hit me in my head. You don't understand that I'm not fired. My head hit the top of the top the second time when I was trying to get up. That's why I put my head on top of my head and block my head. That's how you end up hitting my finger. I'm not lying. That's what happened. And you keep saying that's not what happened. And then I even tried to do that. That's what happened. I'm trying to you. you keep saying that I'm lying and I'm not lying. Brianna, the, the problem with that is, is that's the only thing that you're talking about is me putting the toad on you. And you know why I put the toad on you. Stop acting like you don't know why I did that. This is why it's not. This is why it's I not. I apologize for my finger. You know, I apologize for my ass. You see, see, you want me to issue all the apologies. Don't you think you should apologize for the things that led up to that first? Because you're not. And you know I did not, I didn't pick a little plastic toad up that don't weigh a pound up to, to yes, cause any harm you to you. I did. You don't understand that. Because you I. You have force, even if you have a belt in your head and you whooping the kids, you have force. That's why you said you don't want to whoop them. Stop saying that. I don't want to whoop kids at all because I'm just not that type of person. I don't want to inflict no pain to no one, even my own kids. Whenever they out of line, I don't even want to whoop them. That tells you something right there. My parents didn't care about how I felt. They whooped my butt. I got smacked in the face and everything by my parents. They had no remorse. I do. I don't want to whoop no one. I don't want to whoop no kids. I don't want to pick up a tote and put it on you to stop you from hitting me neither. I don't want you to hit me at all. I want, when we have an argument or a debate about something that I could just, if, if you if, if you got my phone, I just want my phone back. If I tell you I'm not cheating on you, I want you to trust me and believe that. When I say don't go through my phone, it ain't got nothing to hide. I want you to just take my word for it. I, I just wanted you to trust me. That's it. Not treat me like a criminal. I'm a black man. I'm already treated like a criminal every day. Just when they look at me, they see me as a black criminal. I'm 41 years old. People have looked at me like a criminal my whole life, and I've never even committed a criminal act. And again, our queens of this world,